Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped office tank and I noticed something today that has caused me a little bit of concern. Actually I noticed it a couple of days ago but I wasn't sure if I was seeing what I was thinking I was seeing and today I got a good look at it and I know for sure that I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing and that is that my German Blue Ram is starting to develop Popeye a little bit. If you look at its right eye, you can see how it's standing out a little bit proud of its face. I noticed that the other day and I wasn't quite sure if that's what I was looking at or not, but if you look at the fish from behind when it's facing away from you, you can clearly see how that eye is poking out. And from this angle, you can kind of see how it is a little bit too. So I'm not really sure what is going on there. The fish's behavior seems to be fairly normal. Its color still looks pretty good, although I've got to say today it does look a little worse than it has been, and its behavior has been a little more uh, lethargic. It's been a little bit more uh, just kind of sitting down there in the corner underneath the heater. So I'm not really sure what's going on in this tank. I know that they're a very soft water fish, so I doubt that my water is too soft, and that's you know that can lead to... Um, bloating and popping eyes and things like that if you've got water that's too soft for your fish but this is a soft water fish so that shouldn't be an issue so the only thing i know to do uh like home remedy wise to treat for bloating or pop eye is to give the animal a salt bath so i didn't want to go in there and try to catch the fish and do a salt bath that way and i want it to be a longer term uh, treatment. So what I did was I did one uh, teaspoon for a gallon of Epsom salts, but I only did 10 gallons worth of uh, mixture and then I poured it into the tank. So basically what we're doing is a half a teaspoon per gallon in this tank and I think that will be enough that it will give me the desired effect of increasing the salinity of the tank enough without increasing the salinity so much that this soft water fish is going to struggle with you know having to deal with extra minerals in the water now i know that the epsom salts won't account for hardness necessarily but it does raise the total dissolved solids and that may affect the way a soft water fish osmo regulates now in this case i'm hoping that's the case that's what i want to do i want to draw water out of the fish's body and hope that reduces the swelling in the eye and therefore increasing the salinity in the tank uh, will hopefully have that effect. It will hopefully draw some of that um, water out of the fish's body and reduce some of that swelling. I've looked around at the various medications I've got on hand, and most of them seem like they're for external type stuff. The general cure seems to be more for external uh, parasites or internal parasites or whatever. Um, I've got some fungus cure that turned my... Uh, 125 native tank, it turned it green, but it did cure the freshwater velvet I had going on in that tank. Uh, the only thing I have that really specifically says that it deals with Popeye is this Marison 2, and it says it deals with both Popeye and Dropsy, and both of those are issues that are often related to water retention. Now, whether that's water retention due to uh, some sort of bacterial infection or some of the internal systems within the fish aren't functioning properly, I don't know. But when a fish is all bloated up with dropsy, that's what's causing that swelling is it's just it's swelling up with water. And uh, Popeye is the same thing. It's the internal pressure is pushing that eye out of its socket. So the, the fish is retaining too much water for some reason or another. I don't know why it would be retaining so much water, but that's what's causing that eye to pop out like that. So salting the tank with some Epsom salts might help. I'm going to give that overnight and see if the fish doesn't look any better in the morning. And then if that's not the case, if it's not starting to look better, I guess I'll start treating with that Marison 2 and see if that has any kind of an impact. I looked uh, on the playlist here for my office tank. I went all the way back to my very first video where I revealed this fish. I'd had it for about a month before I revealed it, or at least several weeks before I revealed it. So the best I can figure, I got this fish around mid-August. I'm sorry, mid-July. And then the very first video of it was in the beginning of August. 
So it's been about four months exactly that I've had this fish, and it's been doing really well up until now. I was reluctant in the beginning to get another GBR because every time I've ever gotten a GBR, they've never done well in my water, and I always thought it was my water rather than the temperature of my water. So this fish I've put in a tank where I've got the temperature higher, but I'm keeping it the same way I would have kept any other fish. I'm not doing anything special by uh, keeping it in particularly low nitrates uh, or anything like that. I'm just maintaining this tank the way I maintain all of my tanks. Uh, the only difference is this tank is much warmer than my other tanks. And so far, I've got to say that I've been really happy with what I've seen. Every other GBR I got uh, early on in my fish keeping hobby, the reason I wasn't getting any new GBRs was because they all faded away uh, within a matter of weeks. And they immediately looked bad, their color washed out, their behavior was lethargic. They basically started off looking kind of rough and went downhill from there until they eventually died. So what I'm seeing now is completely different than my experience in the past where I had limited success with the GBRs. Uh, this is something completely different. This is Popeye, and I don't know whether that's caused by some sort of infection or, again, if it's caused by my water. Uh, we can probably have the discussion about whether this you know, particular type of fish, my whole um, concern about this fish is, is this fish truly really highly sensitive to nitrates or not? I personally don't believe it is. I still don't believe it is. I don't think that nitrates have anything to do uh, with the Popeye or with whatever issues I'm having right now, but I'm sure some people out there will think it is. And if they want to, you know, comment or anybody wants to have that discussion about whether or not uh, this tank being, you know, yeah, you know, 40 parts per million is usually about where it gets up to anywhere between 40 and 60 parts. And then I'll do a water change and probably bring it back down to, you know, 20, 30 parts per million, somewhere in that neighborhood. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. This tank never gets down to five parts per million or 10 parts per million. It's just like any of my other fish tanks. It's just a normally maintained fish tank. And the nitrates do get up there and frequently will get up above the uh, 60 parts per million. Now, I doubt they ever get above, say, 80 parts per million. And I'm sure they never get above you know, 100 parts per million or anything up in there where you're starting to get into the higher numbers of nitrates. But I do let it get above what most people, you know, when they talk about these GBRs, they often talk about, you know, 5 to 10 parts per million. You get over 20 parts per million on your nitrates and your fish are going to die and whatnot. And I haven't found that to be the case. Unless, of course, months and months and months of exposure causes, you know, the fish to develop Popeye or something. That's, you know, that hasn't been my understanding of what people were, you know, trying to say that these fish are, um, you know, sensitive to nitrates in that regard. See, now you can see how that eye is sort of popping out, sticking off the side of its head a little bit. It's not bad, but it's definitely doing it. It's definitely uh, not my imagination that this fish's eye is popping out of its head a little bit. So anyway, there you go. I'm not going to ramble on anymore about the nitrates. Like I said, I don't think the nitrates have anything to do uh, with what's going on in here. I don't have any idea what might be causing it, but I really don't think the nitrates are the cause of it. But if you do, you know, you know, put your opinion down there and I'll certainly uh, give it a read. And that's all part of why I post these videos so everybody can have their say and we can further the information in the hobby uh, amongst all of us. So thanks for watching this one. Make sure you're subscribed, that way you won't miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. Uh, lately, it's here. It's been a string of bad luck I've been having, but that's how it goes sometimes. So anyway, if you're subscribed, you won't miss that or anything else. And then don't forget, of course, this is my 20-gallon open-topped office tank. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.